What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry TJR Sim here, and happy day after Turkey Day. It is Black Friday. I hope you're doing well. Tummies are full, enjoying your family, and doing some sim racing, of course, and your free time. So today I'm just going to talk about some of the Black Friday deals, and I'm going to go over the DD1 and DD2. Which one is uh, are you going to order? I would love to know. Uh, but you know, check the affiliate links down below to. Order all your uh, your your Black Friday specials or your DD1, DD2 to help the channel out. I'm still deciding myself which one to get between the DD1 and DD2. I uh, the uh, strength of the DD2 is very uh, appealing over the DD1, but uh, and I'll, actually also the kill switch. But I'll get into the differences real quick because I think some of the videos that are out there are pretty old. Uh, the pre pre-release of the of the system so anyway just real quick let's just go over the black friday day so this is actually a really good deal if you are new to fanatic or want to do some upgrades you got the fanatic csl elite wheelbase plus uh officially licensed for ps4 so this is for all the ps4 guys and gals out there get 25 percent off you know this is of course while supplies last so that's actually pretty good now you could couple this one, just for instance, you could couple this one with a uh, Xbox One hub like the McLaren GT3 rim or the regular Forza hub and you could use this on your uh, Xbox uh, One as well as your PS4 because the chip is in the PS4, or sorry, the chip is in the Fnatic wheelbase itself to work for PS4 and then the uh, the chip for the Xbox is within the wheel itself so you could uh, combine them both actually and have the best of both worlds for console use so that's actually really good um, this is really just another iteration so this is 25 percent off uh, this is starting you know, of course yesterday at midnight or 11 o'clock it ends on the 26th so you just got a couple days uh, next one same same duration of time uh, this is going to come with the new F1 uh, wheel, which is pretty sweet. And uh, you can actually get that separately as well uh, in another offer. But uh, $5.99. And this is going to come with the uh, with the pedals as well. So I think this is going to be the load cell. Let me see. Optional. No, it doesn't come with the load cell kit. That is optional. This is the regular pedals. So that's not as good. I do actually recommend you upgrade to the low sale kit. Uh, but still, nonetheless, it's actually a pretty dang decent deal. And the kit upgrades cheap. So if you're just looking for a nice F1 wheel, so you don't want to buy this whole base and you want to upgrade to the wheel, boom, here it is, $249.95. Uh, Club Sports Steering Wheel Formula 1 Esports. This is the one they were using in the Esports Challenges. It looks pretty sweet, actually. Uh, this is PC and PS4. I don't know why it wouldn't work for the uh, Xbox, because it is just the rim itself. Um, that's interesting that they only say PS4. You should say uh, Xbox Ready, I would imagine, uh, because the licenses for the PS4 is within the PS4 console. Uh, or I'm sorry, the... Uh, fanatic console itself you know so that's interesting i bet it works for the other one but you know don't hold me to it all right next up i uh, got that one this is the whole system the whole shebang 995 95 999.95 so this is a bundle including the uh, csl elite wheelbase which is for the ps4 so there's a lot of ps4 deals going on here uh, the McLaren GT3 uh, rim, check out my reviews on that one. I love that rim. That is my favorite rim, actually. So, uh, well, it's not just a rim. It's the whole wheelbase, too. And I do recommend the, uh, the upgraded uh, disconnect. But uh, you also get a, it looks like, uh, a rim itself with a hub. And then, of course, the uh, three set with the load cell kit. So, this is actually a pretty decent deal here for a thousand bucks uh, you are PS4 ready this one here you notice this is the Xbox hub so you can actually uh, use this for PS4 and Xbox one 
Uh, so yeah, you got a thousand dollar system, complete system for consoles. There's really for consoles, obviously, there's really no need to go higher than this particular pedal set here with the load cell. This is really all you need for consoles. Uh, if you want, if you're strictly a PC user, yeah, I would go to the V3 upgrade uh, or the inverted if you care for that. But yeah, for consoles, this you're getting enough bits or resolution to uh, make a difference and still outbreak your competition uh, with this particular load cell kit. So, um, but yeah pretty good next is this one here I actually pre-ordered this already it just looks freaking awesome uh, this is the uh, limited edition it's only 192 when I looked at it this morning it was like 250 uh, one left so it's selling pretty quick so if you want to get this uh, click the link below and uh, come over to the page and navigate to it and buy it up so to me it's very similar to the mclaren wheel i love the mclaren wheel because it's light and i feel a lot more forces through it and i suspect this is going to be the same uh just like the regular f1 uh the older f1 wheel but this is actually an all carbon fiber plate and um it's uh just really nice looking all the buttons dials and stuff that you should need and being that I'm going to be going to a direct drive wheel, I'm going to have to relocate my button boxes. So the more buttons I can get on the face of my wheel and maybe get away from using button boxes, the better. Uh, so, yeah, I can just imagine, you know, I'm going to use this one for ABS, uh, up and down, uh, you know, stability control down, traction control up. And, of course, you know, um, probably ignition, starting a car. And of course, the rest of them are, are whatever I'll come up with. But anyway, it's going to be pretty good. Maybe you know, look uh, right and left and say like Forza uh, when you don't use VR. So yeah. Uh, uh, of course, then you got the you know DRS and and the uh, uh, the curves on another one. So man, just endless possibilities that you can add to this one. So be pretty cool. Love it. And this one is actually upgradable two uh the new uh magnetic paddles they're gonna come i'm gonna roll that video here real quick and you can uh, Fanatic makes uh, the best looking wheels out there in the market, I think. And uh, this is, you know, uh, not surprising that this one is is as is, is well a, a hit. But, you know, if you're going to get it, you better, if you're even thinking about getting it or interested in it, you should get it get it now. I mean, you're, you're going to work with, uh, it's, you know, PC, PS4 ready. Uh, it should work for the Xbox uh uh, Xbox One. Don't know why they didn't put that. Again, why did they not put that there? Please note the product is strictly limited. But uh, yeah, there's no reason why it won't work for uh, Xbox One. I, gen I don't have an Xbox One. To me, it's not worth the money to have an Xbox One for sim racing because I just use the, uh, the PC store and get all my Forza games on that. So yeah that's what i would suggest you do plus you can get more bits of resolution with your wheel set anyway so 
This is one I pre-ordered, $349.95 is it. I would run out and get it if you're somewhat interested because again, this is limited. Once it's gone, they're not gonna make it again. So there you go. All right, so let's, let's jump into the differences between the PD, uh, I'm sorry, the DD1 and the DD2. And I just went ahead and highlighted, it, did a, a, a snippet tool here uh, on the right of the screen and highlighted some of the differences. Uh, between the sets and let me see where's my little oh goodness my windows mirror thing here so quickly just quickly to see you want to know the difference between the DD1 and DD2 here it is you got 25 newton meters with the DD2 max 18 minimum this is your sustained um, uh, torque and then a five-year warranty uh, with it out of the box. The standard one is a two, uh, the DD1 is a two-year warranty. Uh, the DD1, okay, back up here. Uh, it's 15 Newton meters uh, for the DD1, 18 for the DD2. And it's, let me see, I forgot the ending. The ending on the DD1, okay, it's 20 Newton meters. And the DD2 is uh, 25. So yeah, you got five more Newton meters there and three on the low side with the DD2. So a pretty de decent difference. You know, in comparison, what is, does Newton meters equate to? Uh, you're talking about two to two to four foot pounds of torque. Uh, and just think about grabbing a two pound weight out in your uh, out in your garage there, a little two two and a half pound weight. You know that's that's not much weight in hand, but mount that to the edge of your steering wheel, and and imagine trying to sling that back and forth left and right. That's how much you know in relation. That's kind of you know what you're going to feel a difference in more torque exerted to you. So there is quite a bit of a difference. Do you need that much power? Is the question, and I think. Most of us non-direct drive users don't really know uh, if we need that much torque or not. Uh, I tend to lean on the side of get the highest torque possible and I can dial out some of the strength if I need to. Um, I don't think you need that much torque. I think the DD1 will be just fine and uh, because really what I'm looking for is the uh, fidelity in the wheel itself. Now the only other uh, kicker this has uh, with the DD2 to the DD1 is the kill switch. Uh, so this will allow you to you know, maybe put a kill switch somewhere on your rig or on the floor that you can kick it off if there's some kind of uh, problem with the wheel, keep you from breaking your hands or fingers. You know, with the DD1 or DD2, you can easily snap a finger, break a finger pretty easy once it, if you lost control of your car. So, you know, this is high-end equipment. Uh, I mean, heck, I sprained my finger before with just a V2, <laughs> uh, just getting it uh, losing and try to grab hold of the wheel. So it's possible to do. The DD1 and DD2, of course, even more so. Now, keep in mind, if you go ahead and pre-order these, uh, Thomas already had a video uh, stating that he was going to put the DD2s in some of the pre-production uh the DD2 motors, rather, in the pre-production DD1s because they weren't satisfied with the quality that came out of the DD1s. And I'm going to go over that video real quick here for you to hear him say that, just so you don't... Because people asked me before because I commented on it before, and like, hey, where'd you have that video? Well, Fnatic has that video up, and he talks about it here real quick. So let's just listen to what he has to say so you are informed from uh, straight from the company themselves. After months of evaluating the DD1 motor, it just did not meet our high expectations of what a podium product should look like. So we decided that for the first batches, we're going to make a huge upgrade for the DD1 and put the DD2 motor in the DD1. This means that you get a monster of a motor and it's, uh, we also upgraded it from 18 Newton meter to 20 Newton meter, which is basically just limited by the electronics. 
The same will happen to the podium racing wheel. So we will also put the DD2 motor in the podium racing wheel for PS4. This will be enough to avoid any clipping, give you a huge range of force feedback and will also give you a nice workout. But there are also significant and important advantages of the DD2 over the DD1. The peak torque is higher and is 25 Newton meters versus the 20 Newton meters of the DD1. This will deliver a higher dynamic range of force feedback effects and also will uh, have increased acceleration. There's a kill switch included, carbon fiber cosmetics, and we now decided that all pre-orders of the DD2 come with a free of charge five year warranty. Let's come to the price. Of all right, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, I did forget to mention the carbon fiber inlay between the two. Uh, this being, see, I got the DD2 up. Let's go to the DD2 here and show you real quickly. So yeah, you get that nice carbon fiber uh, inlay. Zoom it up here big for uh, us cell phone users that might be watching this on your cell phone. Uh, so there's the motor. You get the upgraded motor, carbon fiber um, inlay on there. You know, I imagine this is just a sticker. If you wanted to do this yourself, it would be pretty easy to buy a carbon fiber sticker kit. This is, would not be the reason why, and I am a sucker for carbon fiber, but uh, I wouldn't buy this just based because you have a carbon fiber look on there. Uh, I would buy it because of the torque, the performance of it. You know, and, and like you said, the website now reflects it too. He's 20 Newton meters of torque for the DD1, 25 for the DD2. So you are going to get a little bit more speed out of that. So, um, yeah, if you think, you know, I, I would wait. Uh, you know, if you're on the line, you might want to wait for a review uh, to come out for it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on it myself through the Christmas season. Uh, I'm going to order one of them today, DD1 or DD2. I'm probably going to get the DD2 um, because it's going to be the best of both worlds, the full package, and uh, I can turn down the torque. I think the DD1 is actually going to be uh, superior enough uh, for my needs and practically anybody's needs out there because after all, at the end of the day, you can bump up torque you can get the realism with the software itself. Um, not bump up torque, but you can get the, the feel that you want with the software itself. And it's kind of like similar to like a Sim Experience software uh, is my understanding uh, of their software. But uh, yeah, we'll see once we get it in hand and start reviewing, reviewing it. So, But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over the differences real quick. Have a little bit of an upgraded or updated, not upgraded, but an updated video out there for the and couple it with the Black Friday deal. So hopefully this explains some things for y'all out there between the two. Basically, DD2, you get the five-year warranty instead of the standard two-year warranty. You get carbon fiber look on it instead of non-carbon fiber look. You get 25, 18 and 25 newton meters of torque instead of 15 to 20. Uh, on the DD1 and you get a kill switch so if that's en enough of a difference for you you got a $1,499 you got $1,500 package compared to a thousand dollar package $500 more for a kill switch carbon fiber and uh, a little bit more torque and speed out of it uh, it's you know that's up to you to decide if it's worth that or not you know at the end of the day you're already spending a bunch of money anyways uh, what's $500 more to get the DD2 and, and uh, put it to rest and get it out of your mind. But uh, again, I think the DD1 is probably going to be plenty, especially since now if you go ahead and pre-order them now, you're going to get the upgraded motor anyways. So, you know, why spend the extra coin uh, right now for a kill switch and carbon fiber, right? Uh, you're going to already get the upgraded motor. Uh, but it's going to be limited to 20 newton meters instead of 25 from what he said in the video uh, but five newton meters you know you're talking let me see what five newton meters is five newton meters is 3.68 foot pounds of torque now, that's quite a bit actually for peak but this is peak 
Uh, this is what you're going to uh, feel at the at the highest end, the spikes of it. Uh, so yeah, it's not that big of a difference. I'm more impressed with the three newton peter meters of torque at the nominal at the lowest end setting so another two pounds uh, at the edge of the wheel there basically or, or you know two pounds of, of force in the wheel itself uh sustained all the time is uh is really what you're going to be looking at uh as far as feeling but at the end of the day i think if you didn't try the dd2 yeah you wouldn't be unhappy with the dd1 you know so anyway it's up to you to decide just some mulling it over in your head. As you can tell, I'm mulling it over myself. So, But, uh, yeah, that's it. Happy uh, Thanksgiving and have a Merry Christmas. Go ahead and pre-order if you're interested. And these look like they're coming out 12-7-2018. So, heck, you, should, you could have it in before your Christmas vacation. So, All right, we'll see you uh, later and more great things coming up for the channel. Stay tuned and uh, comment below. I'm out.